Hey best friend, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'll be telling you guys about my lemonade business, how I got started, you know, how I made my business happen. Found out about doing lemonade, selling lemonade off of TikTok, which is part of the reason why I don't make videos on YouTube anymore. Y'all haven't even been watching videos on YouTube like in a very, very, very long time. I just be on TikTok, like TikTok, TikTok, everything. So anyway, that's why I found out about this business. Um, it just randomly popped up on my For You page. I was really interested because I love lemonade and the city where I'm from, everybody loves lemonade and sweet tea around here. So I was like, I needed a way to make money because I am a stay at home mother. I need a way to make money because I'm trying to save up to get um, my breast reduction I'm trying to have happen. That's the first thing you want to do is do your research on Lemonade and I highly suggest TikTok. TikTok is the way to go. I learned everything I know about, well most of the stuff I know from TikTok. Like actually how to do it, how, because there's a lot of women and men on there that um actually show you how to get started and stuff like that. But I do have a few websites. It's to um for you to check out if you want to learn like not just from videos like actually read up on um street vending and doing lemonade um so one is lemonadevending.com um lemonadebusiness.com and lemonadesource.com i think lemonade lemonadevending.com is the actual website where you can buy a lot of the supplies like the slicer that actually make the lemonade you can buy a lot of supplies off of there they're pretty pricey um, in my opinion, but because you can go on Amazon, that's where I got most of the stuff I got. You can go on Amazon and use something and it upgrades to the things that they're selling on LemonadeVending.com because, oh my God, this stuff is extremely expensive in my opinion. But anyway, um, I haven't found any other place besides those websites and Amazon that sell stuff for Lemonade. Um, oh, there is another one called Webstrant.com. I'm probably saying that funny, but Webstrant. Web, it's like restaurant, but instead of restaurant, it's web, web restaurant. <laughs> but yeah, that's the first thing you want to do is do your research, honey. Research about it. if you're really interested in it, then go to this next step, honey. The next step is to call your health department. That might be the first thing you might need to do is call the health department, call the Department of Agricultural. Ag Agriculture. I cannot say it. Right. Oh my God. Those are the two places you need to call to make sure you can even sell lemonade, you guys. Um, because every state, every city, even down to the county, is different. Like, I stay in North Carolina. Um, I stay in Robinson County, and there's a another county called Cumberland County right next to us. Both, of, even though we're both from North Carolina, like somebody that stays in Cumberland County, and I'm from Robinson County, like we. We probably have two different set of rules to go by when it comes to street vending or selling lemonade. So you need to call your your health department and your department of agriculture for your county. Do not go off of anybody else's rules and stuff like that because they're every place is different. Call them and ask them about permits that you might need and any licenses or how do you go about selling a lemonade legally pretty much. So I called the health department here and the person I spoke to said that they don't regulate lemonade. That um, the only thing I would need to do is pay a $75 fee for a temp food permit when I do events. I do need to call her again because I haven't done an event yet. I've just been selling a flea market right now um, and I don't need a temp food permit for that. But when I actually do events, I will need it. But she said like, for every event, I have to pay that fee, which I think is ridiculous. I'd rather pay, <laughs> instead of getting a temp food permit, I'd rather get like an actual permit and just use it for however long or whatever. I don't know, I have to call her again to see if I can even go about that. Two events I was invited to attend in November and they're like, one is one Saturday and another one is another the next Saturday. And I wanna, you know, see if I'm, if I have to pay $75 both times or whatever, but I'm gonna call and figure that out um that's what you need to do and then with the department of agricultural i called them and the lady i spoke to said that um the only thing i would need is a hand washing station at my tent you know so i can wash my hands and stuff and all that i 
explain all that in another video but i had to actually have a hand washing station i didn't have to have a hand washing sink or nothing like that at my tent because i do sell out of out of a tent right now so that's the first thing you want to do because from what i've seen some places don't even let you sell food out of a tent or anything like that so just check in with that that's the next thing you need to do the next thing is to get an llc you don't actually need that because i don't have one and i've been selling since um august last month i have been selling for like a month i don't have an llc but that's something you need i do i am going to get one i don't have one yet but you need to get an llc a ein is an employee identification number um, so that way you can file taxes and stuff with your business. I don't have one yet. Business insurance and a business name. So obviously I have a business name. If you guys have been following me, my name for my business is Sunny Shakers. I came up with that name. Um, I think I use a random generator on online and kind of come up with that name. I just know with lemonade, the way we make lemonade is I have to shake the cup the blend in the sugar with everything so that's where i come up with shakers and then i thought about you know most of the time people want lemonade in the summertime so i thought of sunny shakers like that's how i came up with the name you want to come up with a name that nobody else has so if you think of something i would like type it in and make sure that nobody else has that name so because once you get your llc that also protects you protects you from having your name duplicated i guess like i said do your research get you a notepad and pen if you want to go old school or get your ipad or like you see right here i have a whiteboard that is specifically for my business so right there i got it for 20 dollars at walmart on um, my write down everything that i can about this business um making up my own menu i was trying to come up with a logo <laughs> So that's another thing you want to try to get your logo. I had someone actually make my logo. But my first logo I made myself was trash compared to the one it looks like that I had somebody make. But anyway, um, I'm, this is like, this is not my menu. Like, this is different from my menu. Now, I have like a temp menu because I'm, you know, the one you're seeing right here is just, I don't have three flavors. And I plan on having a total of 20 flavors um, when it's all said and done. I don't have none of my specials on here. Uh, this is just a temp menu right now. So I'm trying to build up my money with my business or whatever. And then I have, where I jot it down, um, a layout of how I wanted my tent to be and stuff like that. You just want to, you know, plan all that out. Write everything down plan 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 now when you do your research and you got all your supply list what you're gonna need and things like that what i did is like once i wrote down everything that i needed to get started or whatever i went on amazon or those websites i told you guys about and wrote down how much you know each thing is gonna cost and then i added it all up so i know how much money about how much money i needed to get started once you get that amount what i did because i'm i was broke and i ain't had no money like i said i don't work so what I did was I sold some things, have a yard sale. Well, for me, I sold some things and then I had used some money. I ain't gonna lie, I used some child support money, honey. My my baby's father, my child's father doesn't pay his child support every week like he's supposed to. And it comes like in a lump sum. So I don't look at it as, um, I look at it as him owing me money. Because I mean, the whole time he wasn't paying child support, I was covering his part. So when he actually pays his child support, I just use it. But that's what I did. I used, I had a child support check that just so happened it came when I was needing it. Because it, it, I only get child support maybe two or three times a year, honey. And he's supposed to pay like $30 a week. So, <laughs> I mean, it be like random times when I get it. But anywho, I, had, I got like a $300 child support check. I used that. I sold my tablet. It was like $150. Um... Like I said, I sold a couple of things I had, like $20 here, $30 there. I think Jonathan might have gave me a hundred or two. And I got my stuff. Um, it took me about a month of doing research because I found out about it in, I want to say the end of June, beginning of July is when I found out about this business. And I had everything I needed in August, like the first of August, I had everything. And then um, I finally was able to go and do and sell at the flea market that's the first that's where i've been selling at is the flea market i've only been out there right now five times 
I've been out there for three Saturdays and two days out of the week, which I won't, I will not go back to the flea market during the week again. Like this past, this is today's Friday. I went to this Tuesday and I went Thursday. I went yesterday. I only sold five lemonades both times. And the Saturdays um, in August that I went, because it's been raining a lot, so I haven't been going every Saturday, but the um, first time I went out there, I sold, I actually wrote it down, let me see. The first day I sold lemonade at the flea market, which was the first time I ever sold lemonade, was the 17th of August. I made 181. I went the next Saturday on the 24th. I sold 100, or I made 143. And then the weekend after that, which was Labor Day weekend, I made the most I've ever made, which was $210. And then, like I said, I went this past Tuesday and I only made 25. And I went yesterday and I only made 30. So, and I'll be out there for a, 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 a good length of time. I've been there for like six hours at least. So, if you don't have any money, like I said, you can do what I did or you can ask to borrow money from some people. Some people, you know, might already have some of the stuff you need, which I will do a video if you guys want to know all the, all the supplies and stuff I bought and where I got them from. Because, like I said, most of the stuff I got. It's from Amazon and um, Amazon, I think Amazon, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Walmart. I think that's where most of my stuff came from. Like I said, well, Amazon is the top one that I got most of my stuff from. Also, while you're doing your research and stuff, it's good to join Facebook groups in your like local Facebook groups that do events. That way you can know like what events is going on so you can book them. Also, with the health department, with the food, the temp food permit, I have to notify them two weeks before the event. <laughs> That's another thing um, requirement on my on my part here in this county. And then um, you can also join Facebook groups on Lemonade, like specifically on Lemonade. Like right now, I'm in a Facebook group called Lemonade Besties. Y'all should check that out if y'all want to get started doing Lemonade. I love that group. Like so I learned so much with, from them. If you have any questions or anything, you just throw them in there. And there's a ton of women on there and men on there. It's not. It's more women than men. <laughs> but with coming up with the amount of money, I think the minimum amount you're going to need to start this business is at least 300. Just getting a tent alone is like 80 bucks. Like the tent I got from Walmart was almost that much. It was like 80 or 90 dollars. Uh, and I think that's mainly because, you know, I got it during the summertime when most people are buying them. If you get them like off season, like, you know, winter months or something, um, it might be cheaper. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to tell you guys in this video right now. Um, I, I am thinking about making a video, like I said, of all the supplies I got and showing you guys what I got, how much they cost, where I got them from, what I have. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below any questions you have. I try to my best to answer them. Like I said, I've been doing this for like a month. I found out about it two months ago. I've been doing my research for about two months, but I actually have experience for like a month's worth of experience. So I can, I'm going to try and help you guys with the questions you have. But other than that, I will see y'all for the next video. Bye guys.